There's two main places that you need to go to customize how your results display. First thing to do is come into a result settings. You've got a few options up here. Um, these are mostly defaults and can be overwritten on the individual pages themselves. This is, is a fairly key place to start. So decide how you want to kind of traffic light your scores, your low, medium and high. Now, by default, we add the basic traffic light system, red, orange, green, and, and we divide those up evenly in thirds. You might want to stick with the three tiers, as we call it, and stick with the colors, but perhaps tweak um, some of these numbers so that perhaps it's a little bit harder to score high um, and it's much easier to fall into the medium pile you know, or maybe make it even harder to even get into the medium pile and, um, you know, for naught to 49, you're low. All you need to do, as you saw there, is just tweak the numbers and, and the rest kind of like sorts itself out. You can actually go a step further and add more tiers. So we have lots of customers who set up kind of four or five tiers and use their brand colors or use different shades of yellow and orange um, to, to go in the middle there. As simple as that. What I might do is just go medium to high. You can kind of see how that works there. Maybe I'll change that to 80 and that can be 80 to 90. So that's my extra tier and you can see I've kind of biased towards low scoring colors. Hit save on that. The next place to go is the result pages. Now result pages work very similar to landing pages. So if you want to kind of check out the landing page video that shows how to add sections, move things around, change fonts, colors, that kind of thing. This video is just going to focus specifically on the result side of things. So by default, we've added one main result page. If you don't quite like the layout of that page, you can always click to add a new page and choose one of our other templates. I'm just going to click to edit this page for the time being. Now the first section here at the top is what we call an overall score section. You can see that just for the purpose of the builder, it's picking out random scores and random colors. You can see that it's got a traffic light system that we just edited in there. And you can click on this section and you can edit the content just like in the landing pages. There's a few other options around whether you want to show tiers and show the tier name and show the overall score. So you have those options to kind of edit a few extra things. But the key difference here with a result page over a landing page is that you have this enabled dynamic content. So you can switch that on. You get a little warning dialog just because if you have started editing any of the content in here, and then you enable dynamic content, you're going to lose the content that you that you previously wrote. When you've enabled that, the tiers that we set up earlier show here, and you can just flick between the different tiers and edit the content differently for each tier. So basically every field that shows up below that title will change based on the score. So let's say, for example, this area here where it says, thank you for taking the scorecard name. You could just put something like, you scored low. And then if we switch to medium, you can see it's changed back. You scored medium. So you can then just flick between the tiers and edit the content and that's the same for this field this field and this field so that's for the overall score so that's the tier based on this overall score and then if we go down to our categories 
we have the exact same thing. So within the exercise category, I can enable the dynamic content. And then this text here will be different for low, medium and high.